Um, now we are going to talk about the, about the Romani people and especially Romani women from art historical perspective. And as you know, Roma people and especially Romani women have been a recurrent subject matter in West European art and visual culture for centuries. Uh, numerous examples of such depictions can be found in works of renowned painters and sculptors throughout Europe. While some portrayals of Romani people can be traced back to the Middle Ages, primarily in the field of religious art, their popularity increased during the Renaissance and Baroque periods. Unlike the Middle Ages, where Romani themes were integrated into major religious paintings, Renaissance and Baroque artists and their patrons popularized what was then called, and is now considered a pejorative term, gypsy themes. These themes became central and often standalone motifs in paintings and sculptures, carved in marble or other materials, especially in the field of portraiture. This trend was also evident in Serbian art, which developed its own tra artistic tradition, largely influenced by European art. Many Serbian artists active in the 19th and early 20th centuries have received education abroad, attending prominent artistic centers such as Vienna, Munich, and later Paris after the World War I. By bringing their European experiences back to Serbia, particularly Belgrade, they developed a local version of European art that reflected the social, political, historical, and cultural context. Although certain artistic movements seemingly emerged in Serbia and later Yugoslav art relatively late compared to European art, they are no longer considered manifestations of provincial art after abandoning the traditional art historical concepts of their center and its retrogated provinces. For example, Impressionism, one of the first modern movements in European art, originated in Paris in the late 1870s, but only emerged in Serbian and Yugoslav art in the early 20th century. Stylistic expressions, themes, and motifs were also transferred from the European artistic background to Serbian art. Uh, this includes the Roman narrative, which is, as we will discuss next, conceptualized according to the dominant West European cultural model. With these subtle differences in mind, we will delve into our topic, which is the visual, visual representations of Romanian women in the 19th and early 20th century Serbian art. art. The aim of this presentation is to provide a comprehensive overview of this subject matter and interpret it within the contextual art history methodology, considering not only the aesthetic qualities of the artworks in question, but primarily the intentions of the artist who produced them, influenced by the historical, geographical, political, and social framework, as well as gender relations. It should be noted that much of European and Serbian art production depicting Roma people unfortunately relied on stereotypical images, often portraying the Roma cultural identity with negative connotations. This is evident in the titles of the artworks under examination, which still, as you can see, um, use the original, now considered pejorative term, gypsy. To maintain the authenticity of their sources, we have chosen to retain these titles. While it is plausible that many artists of the time were unaware of such discrimination, thanks to subaltern or postcolonial and feminist studies, these works of art have acquired new meanings. They can now be decoded through an understanding of the invisible yet pervasive discrimination based on ethnicity and gender resulting from the West European cultural hegemony. When analyzing the paintings and sculptures in questions, it is important to bear in mind that they were predominantly created by white, male, heterosexual individuals from Western Europe. They were often intended for collectors who shared the same origin and perspective. However, as we will see, uh, there were slight differences when Roma things were depicted by early 20th century women artists, artists who adopted a different point of view free from social, racial, or gendered exclusion, nurturing a more human approach. Throughout the presentation, we will also explore how Roma people have predominantly been portrayed by Western European artists through the lenses of otherness. Roma women in particular were often depicted as exotic, erotic, or ethnographic subjects in European and Serbian art, as you can see also in these examples. 
uh, irrespective of the diverse geographical and historical contexts of the artists and art consumers. Sadly, Romani women were unfairly objectified, their bodies fetishized, and they were frequently portrayed as passive victims of patriarchy in need of saving. At times, they were viewed as sexually available objects of fantasy or even depicted as old witches. The cultural identity and femininity of Roma women have been consistently misunderstood and mistreated. Through critical exploration and analysis of such artworks, our aim is to reclaim the importance of a conscious gaze among contemporary art consumers and shed light on the multiple hidden layers beneath these aesthetically refined and academically successful paintings and sculptures. To begin our presentation, we will showcase representative examples of high art from the Western European production of the early modern and modern ages. Notably, renowned painters like Caravaggio, a Milan-born artist who was active predominantly in the late 16th and 17th century, frequently featured the genre paintings depicting Roma people. In one of his most famous work, Fortune Teller, Caravaggio portrayed one of the common <coughs> stereotypical visualizations of Romani women. During that time, Romani women were unfortunately often associated with vice, trickery, and theft. During that time, uh, sorry, in the painting, a young woman on the left, uh, referred to as Egyptian at that time, interacts with a gentleman on the right wearing a hat, gloves, and a sword. She holds his hand to read his fortune. The position of her fingers, with the index finger on the young man's ring finger, which displays a visible ring, suggests that she may have intentions to steal his jewelry. Her ethnic origins are easily recognizable through her hairstyle, a long turban, and a cape, which is a thick fabric attached to the shoulder. The neutral background, devoid of ornamentation or details, draws the viewers into the scene, symbolically making a witness. Inspired by Caravaggio, his followers, known as Caravaggists, reproduced similar thematic variations, contributing to the recurrence of such stereotypical images frequently encountered in Western European art production. Another common association attributed to Romani women in the past was their preserved inclinations towards a sense of freedom. An example of this can be seen in one of the most famous portraits by Franz Hals, a renowned painter of the Dutch Golden Age, who lived and worked in 17th century <coughs> Harlem. The portrait depicts a laughing Romani woman in a bust format. Her face is nearly full frontal with her gaze directed downwards on the right. Her brown hair cascades over her shoulders and she wears a red bodice over a white chemise, revealing her cleavage in a sensual way. Although this portrait is often regarded as a generalized study of facial expression and unconventional attire, rather than a commissioned portrait, it presents an image of a woman who appears liberating from social norms. Her pose, hairstyle, and clothing seem so spontaneous that they contradict the social codes of the time. The natural setting further reinforces the notion of a woman detached from material constraints. The young woman seduces the viewer with her sensuality and her natural attitude, but she also embodies vice and immorality. Apart from the stereotypical depictions of the Roma population in the Western European imagination, there are also some atypical and isolated examples of representation of Romani women in early modernism. An unconventional visual representation of a Roma model can be found in Camille Corot's painting from 1865. Known for his ethereal portraits, Corot captured the essence of the Romani woman in his painting titled Zingara, mini gypsy in Italian, evoking a mode of poetic melancholy. In his portrait, uh, Corot presents a unique perspective on Romani women. While the presence of a musical instrument symbolizes the traditional association of the Romani people with a joyful spirit in music, Corot orchestrates the scene with his model in a quite natural setting, recapturing the image of a Romani figure deeply intertwined with nature. nature. As a representation of Romani women can be found in the works of Petr Ubokic, the first <coughs> academically trained Serbian sculptor. During his studies in Rome in 1885, he sculpted the bust of an unidentified Romani woman in white Carrara marble. This sculpture stands out within his body work due to its veristic details and the influence of renowned Italian sculpture Canova. Ubovkic carved the face of the Romani woman as envisioned stereotypically in Western art, presenting her as a lady wearing a head scarf adorned with coins and heavily ornamented with rich jewelry. 
She embodies the Romani women as an oriental figure, simultaneously exotic and sensual. The Romani women as a subject matter also appeared in the works of Nadezhda Petrovic, the most prominent Serbian female painter and one of the pioneers of Serbian Impressionism and modern art in general. Despite her relatively short life of 42 years, Petrovic was an incredible prolific artist who extensively experimented with different styles, incorporating Impressionist, Fauvist, and Expressionistic tendencies. During her Serbian phase, which followed her time in Munich, Petrovic began painting various themes and motifs, including those related to the Roma community. These works were part of her broader interest in Serbian folklore and were created during her numerous travels across Serbian territory. Inspired by the diverse and ornate traditional clothing, Petrovic depicted various female figures in local costumes. Her aim was not solely to depict their facial features in a realistic manner, highlighting their ethnic origins, but also to use their folk national costumes, reinventing the form of Orientalism uh, of an, or an urban perception of an undiscovered rural world, encompassing both documentary and ideological meaning. When approaching Romani women, Petrovic treated them like any other women she encountered in the southern parts of Serbia, including towns and rural areas along the Nishava River Basin and the vicinity of Pirat. She painted them with the intention of expressing the vibrant colors of their costumes, focusing almost exclusively on their portrait representation rather than on possible genre scenes. From her paintings, we can gather that she approached them with curiosity and respect, avoiding the portrayal of Romani women as exotic or oriental others. Instead, she depicted them as ordinary women who could be found throughout Serbian territory at the beginning of the 20th century. The, portray the portrayal of women in everyday traditional national clothing, especially those worn for festive occasions, also inspired Petrovic's female colleagues, who belonged to the first generation of Serbian modern painters in the early 20th century. Among them was Anica Jovanovic, one of the lesser known but highly influential Serbian female painters of the time. Jovanovic began her art studies at the Belgrade School of Arts and Crafts and continued them at the Munich Diamond Academy in 1910. In her body of work, we can also find motifs featuring Roman women, characterized by their beauty and realistic, almost authentic details. While it is uncertain whether these paintings were created in plein air or in the studio, with models posing in front of the painter's easel, they possess a distinct blend of orientalistic tendencies and realistic academic art. In fact, the artistic legacy of Danica Ivanovic, created between 1909 and 1914, includes a pair of representations of Romani women. These figures were primarily painted on smaller pieces of cardboard with a sketch-like and dynamic style, suggesting the use of live models. However, there are also instances that suggest the use of postcards as references. Uh, the themes explored in these paintings position them within the Serbian National Emancipation Movement, aligning with the concept of women's emancipation in Serbian and Serbian art. Unlike Nadezhda Petrovic, Danica Ivanovic focused on capturing delicate details, carefully studying people and their facial features, which is evident in her motives featuring Romani women as well. We conclude our presentation with the remarkable opus of Beta Bukanovic, a Serbian painter of German origin. Born as Babette Bachmeier in Bamberg in 1872, she chose to spend an impressive 74 years in Belgrade after marrying her colleague Risto Lukanovic. Despite her German background, Beta Lukanovic embraced her husband's surname and the Cyrillic alphabet, signing her paintings in Serbian after her arrival in Belgrade Munich in 1898. Bukanovic found herself captivated by the oriental atmosphere of Belgrade and quickly became inspired by the local people, particularly by the members of Roma and Jewish communities, who soon became her favorite models. According to her own accounts, she formed fr friendships with some of them during their modeling sessions. Additionally, Bukanovic developed such close relationships with the Romani women residing in Trubura and Yalia that she even attended their feasts and a wedding ceremony. These intimate interactions are revealed throughout Beta Bukanovic's interviews conducted in the latter half of the previous century. As a visual chronicle of what Lyndon Oakland termed the spaces of femininity, Beta Bukanovic was not only a dear friend to the Romani women in Belgrade, but also their benevolent co citizen and portraitist. Her art beautifully captures the essence and spirit of these women, providing the unique links into their private lives and experiences.
During this synthetical review of the portrayal of Romani women in Serbian art of the 19th and early 20th century, we have highlighted the influences of Western European styles and themes on the painters and sculptures acting in Belgrade. The artworks present a diverse range of motifs featuring Romani women depicted in erotic, exotic, and ethnographic settings. While male artists often portray them as objects of sexual desire, viewing them through the lens of the erotic other due to the dominant male roles in the patriarchal society, female painters took a more realistic approach. They sought to capture the authenticity of Romani women's facial features and the richness of their ornamental costumes. As women and artists who had to fight to their, for their own rights and independence as creators in a predominantly male sphere of art, female artists seem to have a deeper understanding of and empathy for Romani women. They considered them as equal co-citizens, co striving not only to exclude them from the diverse tapestry of ethnic and cultural groups present throughout Serbia. Through their benevolent approach and often close relationships with the Romani women, exemplified by the case of Beta Lukanovic, these artists not only visualized them as equals alongside any other potential models, but also gave, gave them a voice that had been unjustly taken away in previous epochs when Romani uh, women were treated as the ethnic other and objectified within a patriarchal system. Thank you for your attention.